As you all know, you might have a page in your application that depends on the external data. We use get static props to fetch the required data to render this page. In this lesson, we'll talk about the case where each page path depends on the external data. Next.js allows you to statically generate pages with paths that depends on the external data. This enables dynamic URLs in Next.js. Next.js enables you to define dynamic routes in your app using bracket and inside that bracket you have the parameter. Instead of setting a static name to your page, you can use the dynamic one. Dynamic routing refers to generating routes or you can say the URLs to serve individual pages based on the data which is subject to change. Let me show you a very simple example. So let's first create a file which use for dynamic routing. So to create a file, we click on the new file icon and then we specify the file name. So we pass here a file name in the bracket like this. And then we pass here ID and the name of the file is .js means .javascript. You can see how I created this dynamic route file. The file is in this bracket. This is a parameter ID. We will look at how you can use and access this ID later. Just for now, let's create this file. So once you have this file, let's suppose that you have a constant variable, something like this. You have the post data variable and inside that you have two objects with different IDs. What you want when the user open the URL with the ID one, you want to display the component with this ID one data. For example, this data is going to create two URLs, something like this. It's going to create post one because we have ID one inside this post data and it also going to create post two because we have ID two inside this data. So the pages or you can say the URL of the pages is depends on the external data. So if you open this first URL, it's going to open a component with the data of ID one. If you open the post two, this URL, it will open the component with the ID two data. Now let me show you with the example. Let me get it out this command. And here we are working on this data. So I'm going to leave this as it is. And right down here, I'm going to create my component. So we need to create here export default statement function. We pass here name to this function, which is post. And then we're going to return an article, the article HTML element. Inside this article, I'm going to print this data. So we pass here curly braces and here we pass post variable. I'm going to get this data from the parameter. So I'm going to pass here object and pass here post. And right here, I'm going to say post dot map. I'm going to iterate over this object, this array of object using this map JavaScript function. And then we pass here callback function like this. Keep in mind, you don't have to specify here curly braces because if you specify curly braces, then you have to specify return statement manually. Instead of doing this, I'm going to pass here parenthesis. So now inside this parenthesis, I don't have to specify the return statement. Here, I'm going to create a div h1 with the p.id. Then I'm going to create two more h1 heading level tags. And then I'm going to say p.title this property. And then I'm going to say p dot description like this and to this div we pass key to uniquely identify this division tag so i'm going to say here p dot id this id variable so now once we iterate over this object using this statement let me just pass this data using get static props as you know you pass this data using get static props function so just down here I'm going to say here export async function with the name get static props. Now, as you know, this function is going to execute every time when you build your Next.js application. And inside this, we need to return this data, this one, this post data. So inside this function, I'm going to say constant post is equal to post data. And then I'm going to return here props. In the object, we return post. So I'm going to return this post variable with this get static props. We already learned this, how we can pass data to this component using get static props. 
let me save the changes and now let me show you how you can open this page in the browser you can notice the name of the page is id and this id is surrounded by square bracket if you open your browser and open the post and the file name which is id then you're not going to get anything here you're going to get an error message here get static path is required for dynamic ssg page ssg means static site generation page so if you are using static site generation page with dynamic routes you have to use a function called get static path so just back to your page so you have to create here a function so i'm going to say here export a sync function and the function name is get static paths keep in mind the name is get static path the previous function is get static props and this function is get static path this function is used for dynamic routing so if you want to access the dynamic page you have to specify this function but now instead of this id we pass here data so let's suppose that you want to print this first id this first post you pass this id 1 in this url right here you pass here 1 something like this this is going to return the component with this first id data to do that you have to use here get static path now inside this function you need to specify all your data first you need to specify all your data instead of using this data inside this file what if we create a new function for that so that will just mimic a api call so what if i create here a new folder called library and inside that if i create a new file helper.js then in this file i can just simply export a function get all post and then i'm going to copy this post data or you can just cut this data from this id page and paste that right here and i'm going to just return this so i'm going to return post data so if you want to use your data you have to just call this get all post so in the id at the top we're simply going to say import in the object we pass get all post from double dot forward slash then specify the lab folder and then we specify the helper file so now i can just simply pass here get all post to this variable to get this data now i'm going to do the same inside this get static path so here so here i'm going to say constant post is equal to get all post so this will just return all the data and i'm going to say here constant paths is equal to post dot map i'm going to iterate over this data and create different pages i'm going to iterate over this data and pass value to this id parameter you can see when we create this dynamic page we pass id here so whenever we call this id or you can say whenever we call the url we need to pass value to this id parameter it may be one or two depending on your data so i'm going to just iterate over this path so i'm going to say here post i'm going to get all the data iterate over this data using map and inside this i'm going to say post and then inside this object i'm going to pass params using params you specify value to this id parameter so we pass here params pass here colon and pass an object and inside this object you specify your file name or you can say the parameter name the parameter name is id here so we pass here id if you have a different name to your dynamic route variable or you can say to your dynamic route parameter then you can specify that variable or you can say parameter name right here and then you pass value to it the value is the ids as you know we have two ids here so i'm going to iterate over this object and pass this id here so we pass here post dot id and as you know when you specify value in the browser url that is a type of string so you have to convert this id into string so we pass here to string something like this now just out of that you have to return this using return statement so you have to say here return 
in the object you pass this path to this get static path and then you return the fallback value false now we'll talk about what is the meaning of this fallback value after a few seconds just for now just save all the changes back to the browser and reload it you can see you're going to have all your data as a response what i want when i specify one in the url i only want to get the first id data when i specify here two in the url i want to get the data of the second id to do that i'm just going to back to this get static props and we need to just filter this get all post so what we have to do is when the user open the url with the id one or two we need to get that id first so the get static props allows us to get that id using a parameter called params so you can just simply pass here an object and pass here params with this params variable you can get the current dynamic id of your page so you can get that id inside these params so you have to just specify here params and you get that id or you can say this parameter value using this structuring so i'm going to say here constant in the object we pass id like this so we get that id from the parameter and pass that to this variable and i'm going to pass this variable to this get all post something like this and inside this helper file we pass here that id parameter like this and here i'm going to say if we have id then i'm going to filter this data and return to the component so i'm going to just say here return post data dot filter i'm going to use here a javascript function filter and then i'm going to say here post as a parameter and then i'm going to say post id this id if it is equal to this id then return that current object now let me explain this if we have value inside this parameter then i'm going to execute this if statement otherwise return this all data so if we have value let's suppose that we have one inside this variable then this post data is going to return only this first object using this filter function let me save this back to the id.js and save this file as well now let me back to my project and reload it you can see i'm just going to get the second post if i specify here one then I'm going to get my first post. Now let's suppose that I create one more ID here. Let's suppose if I copy this statement, specify that here, and this is the ID 3. This is the third post and the post data for third post. Back to the browser and if I specify here 3, I'm going to get the third dynamic URL with this third ID data. So I hope you understand how you can work with dynamic routes in Next.js.